Hi, my name is Joel Martins. I'm the owner operator of the business at Heritage Ranch in Red Deer, Alberta. I'm here to talk to you today about the five steps to setting up your ag tourism business. I'm really excited to share this with you. I'm really passionate and I want to see other ag industry professionals do well and take their business to the next level. If you can bring in an extra 10 or 15 or 20 or even $100,000, whatever the amount might be, off of your property, I'd say that's time well spent. Just a little bit about my background. I spent 10 years training horses. I started colts. I started any horse that I could get my hands on. I just loved riding. I loved getting out there and riding and putting miles on horses. Uh, I found over time that I was going through a five-step process with each horse that I was riding. And they would actually, and I would actually go through this five steps in the round pen before I went out with the horse. I want to share those five steps with you today. Another thing I'd like to share with you is my background in the ranching industry. We took over a property that had kind of lost all of its luster. It was a city owned property, it was 207 acres located right in the city of Red Deer. And the city of Red Deer said, we need somebody to run this. And my wife and I put together a proposal and we presented it to the city and it was accepted. So we were able to take that business from about 60,000 a year in sales up to 1.8 million in sales in about seven, eight years. And we've been able to sustain those sales. The first step in the five steps is to assess. Take the time. The time you spend assessing is time well spent. When I would get in the round pen with a horse and I would work with that horse, if I took my time in that process, and found out where that horse was, I found it was a lot easier to work with the horse in the later stages. Take the time, take the time, take the time. So when you do the assessment, take all of the assets and everything that you've got available to you, write it down on a piece of paper, write down any potential assets that you have. Maybe it's a city property, maybe it's a neighbor down the road who's willing to work with you. Maybe it's something you don't want to do, but you, can, you know somebody that does want to do it. Also look at yourself personally. What is your what is your personal profile like? So after you've accumulated and you've thought about all the assets that you've got, your personal disposition, you're going to go to strategy. So you're going to take your time now. You're going to sit down and you're going to think about all the different things that you've got. How are you going to put these things together? What's it going to look like? Sometimes it's helpful to look at how things are going to look 10 years down the road for you personally. How is your business going to be running? What are people going to think when they leave your property? What are they going to talk about when they're getting into their vehicles after they've been to your property or they've experienced your offerings, your product or service? So as part of your strategy, you want to think about how you want to market yourself. What tools are you going to use? I use Resgo for our booking system. ResD is another really good one and something a lot of people don't know is that Airbnb actually offers an experience package so you can sell your offerings right through Airbnb. Step three, your plan. You've, got your, you've done your assessment, you've got your strategy, now you make your plan. You get everything together that you're going to need. You get your lists together, you get your timeline together, you think about all of the things that could happen, you think of all the eventualities, you get your insurance in place, you get everything lined up, and then you do a test run. You get your friends and family in it, you test it, and you see what is the guest experience really like, and you want to invite them to be totally open and honest with you about it. Get honest reactions from your friends and family. The next thing you gotta do, and this is the one where a lot of people stop, execute. Get to it, put it together, give it a trial run. Go, out, go forward with confidence and make it something that you believe in. When I would get to this point or get to the point where I had to get on a horse and I will, had gone through all of these things, steps carefully, when it got time to get on that horse, I could get on that horse with confidence. Same thing here. You can't steer a boat if it isn't moving. You have to get some motion first. That's what you're doing when you execute. You're getting started. Don't be afraid to pivot. This is the line you're on. You're humming along here and your business is starting to take off. You're getting bookings through Resgo and ResD and all of a sudden you find that it's just not quite enough. There's something's missing. Don't be afraid to pivot and keep moving forward. You're still gonna get to the top. You just have to be prepared to adapt as you go. And finally, 
you've done all this, you've done your assessment, you've gone through the strategy, you've made the plan, you've executed the plan, now you want to do a reassessment. Have some measurables. How you, if, did you make the profit that you wanted to make? Did you do everything? Did it come off smoothly? Did your guests have the experience or the taste that you wanted them to have? How did it turn out? This will set you back, this will set you up for the next go around and for your next execution, the next time you go to put that event on, you're ready to go. So there it is, five steps. I hope that helps. If you'd like to talk to me, if you'd like to give me a call personally, my cell number is 403-877-3456. 403-877-3456. I can help you with your plan at any step that you're at. Really enjoyed this experience. Thanks for coming along with me. I hope this gets you started on your ag tourism business. If there's anything I can do for you, give me a call. You've got my number, you've got my email address. You can text me if you like. And let's get connected to talk about what you can do with your ag business.